Okay, let's simplify this guy. What I like to do is write like terms over each other and then simplify. So I'm going to write 8 over 4 times x to the 10th over x to the 3rd. Well, now that I have things separated, I'm going to do exactly what I see. 8 divided by 4 is 2. x to the 10th over x to the 3rd. Remember, when you divide exponents, you actually subtract their powers. So I'm going to have x to the 10 minus 3. It's always the top minus the bottom. 10 minus 3 is 7, so my answer is 2x to the 7th. And you did it. Okay, let's reduce this. What I like to do is I like to break them up into like terms. So what I'm going to have is 5 over 15 times x to the 7th over x to the 2nd. Now what I have to do is just divide. 5 over 15 is 1 -third. Now when I divide fractions, remember I have to subtract their exponents. So I'm going to have x to the 7 minus 2. Well, x to the 7 minus 2 is 5. So I'm going to have 1 -third x to the 5th. Now if I really look at this, x to the 5th is over 1. So I want to make this into just one fraction. So I'll have x to the 5th over 3. And you did it. OK, let's reduce this guy. What I like to do is I like to break them up into like terms. So I'm going to have 10 over 2 times x to the 3rd over x times y to the 5th over y to the 4th. And now my next step is just to reduce. 10 over 2 is 5. x to the 3rd over x to the 1st. Remember, whenever I have an x, I can write a 1 there. Uh, when you divide, you subtract their exponents. So that will be x to the 3 minus 1. Once again, I have a division, so I'm going to subtract their exponents. 5 minus 4. So I'll have 5 times x to the 3 minus 1 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now, I don't have to write the 1 there. Anytime we have a variable without an exponent or a number in front of it, we assume it's just 1. So I'm going to have 5x to the second y. And that's my answer. When I simplify exponents, I like to put like terms over each other. So I'm going to have x to the third over, here's my x in the denominator, x to the second, times y to the fifth over y to the third times z to the seventh over z to the fourth. Now all I need to do is reduce. So x to the third over x to the second. When I divide exponents, I subtract their powers. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So I have x to the first, or just x. 5 minus 3 is 2. y to the second. 7 minus 4 is 3. z to the third. And that's my answer.